Hi guys, this is Joe Kelly from the Instinctive Actors Society. I help actors, the work I do is that I help actors move through their resistances so they can really get to the core of their instinct and they can move from being good actors to really being great actors who are in the zone, who are empowered by their own instinct. And the topic that we're gonna look at today is whether you can reach extreme emotion easily. So um, when I say extreme emotion, definitely um, tears, definitely anger, definitely joy, like really into think Shakespeare. Extreme emotions, some scenes demand that and some scenes will need that from you. Take an example, if um, you're in a scene where your son is telling you to stop crying, well, it pretty much means that you have no choice and you'll have to be able to deliver that level of vulnerability take after take. You wanna be able to do that with ease and under pressure, right? Because that are that's the circumstances that we're working in. I hear actors come to me and say, yeah, I was ready, but this is what happened. On set, they were not ready, or it took them forever to get to my scene, and by that time, I was dry. Or my partner wasn't really collaborating well, and therefore, I didn't get the connection, or the vibe wasn't right on set, or, um, the director was a little bit of a bully or he didn't really know what he wanted. If you go to an audition, what I will mostly hear actors say when we start working together is, um, I didn't have time to get ready. I got the sides really late and there was a lot of text and it was very technical text. So I wasn't really able to be present or um, there was a lot of traffic and I got there late, so I was stressed. Or, um, you know, the, the, the casting office wasn't a very nice office and they made me feel um, uncomfortable. Or the reader wasn't giving me a good read. That the things that happen on set or in an, or in an audition room are really not allowing you um, to be your full present self, they're, they're really being obstacles to you being able to show up. I completely get how, um, how difficult that is to deal with and what is at stake in your hands. And as I get that, the place that I want to take you guys is to really for you guys to really acknowledge that this is the industry you chose. The industry you chose to work in is an industry that is chaotic in its nature because it builds entities from scratch. There is no structure to it. A million pieces have to work together out of nowhere and therefore this is what happens. There's a lot of humans involved, there's a lot of machines involved, there's a lot of money involved, and it will always, always, always be an industry that will not unroll the red carpet only at the end of the story for you to actually be able to open your instrument in your own timing and do a crying scene 20 takes in a row um, with the right temperature in the room and with everyone speaking to you the way they want to speak to you is an industry that will throw balls at you all the time. So the way you train in your room or in an acting class setting is extremely far from the reality that happens in the field. The frame of mind that I want you to put yourself in is to be really athletic and to plan for the worst conditions. Because if you start or if you recognize yourself using what happens on a set or in the audition room as reasons, therefore excuses for you to not be able to reach your maximum potential, you are to completely screwing your own self up. You're, you're not being honest with what's happening. It's always gonna be messy 
It's always going to be pressured. It's always going to be extreme circumstances. And they're never, ever going to go your way. Your job and your responsibility as an actor is to be able, be able to navigate those circumstances as you are opening your instrument and showing up for your character. That is your job. Your job is not to be able to sometimes touch an emotion when everything goes well around you. No. Shit will hit the fan. It will be a mess. It will be a tsunami around you. And you are hired because you will be capable to show up and be present, completely open. But be realistic. This is what you're dealing with. This is how high the mountain is. This is how high the obstacles are. So train for that. Give yourself an athletic training so that you are ready for the worst circumstances. You're not hoping for the best. Hoping does not work. Just be ready for it. Okay. The opportunities knock when they knock. They don't knock when you're ready to open the door. So you want to make sure that when chance pours, you can grab it. So don't wait for those parts to come and to then think that by then you will open up your instrument, make it that reliable, that open, that vulnerable, that accessible to you, and then you will be ready. So the two mindsets are really to be athletic and to be athletic now. Don't wait for the big part. Don't wait for the, wait for the role that will demand that type of extreme emotion. Do it now. And the third point that I would like for us to, you know, um, put on the table and discuss together is to really um, start being open to your own extreme emotions. So we've all been wired to behave a certain way, to um, please our parents, to fit at school, to culturally uh, be appropriate. And, and that wiring has really trained us to not feel what we feel, but to feel what others want us to feel. So you definitely want to unlearn that wiring and be able to reach your own extreme emotions before you will ever be capable to have extreme emotions for another being that you're taking on in an authentic way. If you're not able um, to be down and to sit with and let the waves of your extreme emotions, no matter what they are and no matter how inappropriate you think they are, I think they're all pretty appropriate and beautifully appropriate, but you have to be willing to be complete with that, to be, you know, really going towards that for yourself, to have that depth in your instrument, to be able to bring that to the table when it's needed. If you can't do this work with yourself, you'll only be able to act those emotions for your characters. You won't be able to provide that level of depth, of depth um, authentically because, because you're not in connection with your own um, extreme emotions. So how could you possibly have them be at the rendezvous if, if you're completely denying them? The level of ease that you can reach um, by really having an instrument that is trained ahead of time, that is consistently trained, that is in touch with your own emotion, that is in a mindset where, you know, no matter what noise and obstacles are happening here, I am present because I'm open and I am giving myself up for my character's needs, then the power, the satisfaction, the fulfillment, the, the, the flow, the high that you will get from acting that way is, it, it is easy because it's, it, it really is like being alive and like breathing. And so of course, what's possible out of being in that state and out, out of being able to show up for those extreme things in extreme circumstances is limitless. It's booking, it's um, being called back, it's being unforgettable. It's, it's, it's people want it because it's rare and it's a hot commodity.